Hey, how's it going guys? TND coming back at you. We are less than one month from the release of Lightfall, which means we are also less than a month away from four seasons of content being removed from the game as well. More and more, it's looking like these weapon patterns from season 16 to 19 will be unattainable going forward, which means that loading up on those red border weapons should be one of the main priorities for players before things wrap up at the end of February. Luckily, Bungie has tossed players a hefty bone here, allowing for the one free red border weapon focus that's usually available once a week, and instead making that repeatable daily up until the release of the new expansion. Shout out to Digital Soul from my clan for doing the math on this one, but this should allow for players to literally start from zero patterns and get every single weapon done, albeit with a little grinding involved. You see, these red frames are an umbral focusing unlock that is available while leveling up each seasonal vendor in the helm. These red border weapons are not free, as they do generally cost one umbral engram, some legendary shards, as well as the relevant umbral energy from that particular season. Actually, stocking up on the umbral energy is where you're going to need to do some grinding here, probably. Also, if you are not aware, Bungie is removing Umbral Engrams entirely next season, and instead opting to go with a seasonal and playlist Engram system, allowing vendors like Zavala to have specific weapon focusing, giving players even more power over what drops from their activities. Okay, so that sounds great and all, but how do you get this Umbral Energy from each season? So let's go one by one. Risen Umbral Energy can be acquired by completing PsyOps Battlegrounds missions, but there's also a good chance that you have plenty of this currency already, as this upgrade at the War Table allows you to get some energy from completing playlist activities as well. If you've my high stat armor farm vid you'll know that the war table armor also gives really good rolls as well so whatever you do do not go wasting your umbrals there's more than enough stuff for you to be focusing those guys with if you still need patterns or armor season of the haunted has in my opinion the toughest umbral energy to get as you basically need to grind out nightmare containments and hope for opulent keys to drop while you're in the haunted leviathan one full run net of me nine umbral energy which is not bad but also don't sleep on running the sever missions as well i ran the resolve mission which is the last kaido one it's pretty fast and i got 18 Umbral energy plus one red border weapon. I don't know if that was particularly good RNG on my part, but that's pretty good rewards right there. Next up is Season of Plunder and the Seasonal Activity Catch Crash, in which I got one red border drop on my first clear, plus some treasure coordinates. The best way to get umbral energy from this season is the Expedition playlist, which is pretty boring, but you can at least slot this treasure map right here to give yourself a guaranteed plus seven umbral energy at the end of your runs. Finally, we have Season of the Seraph, which has a ton of ways to get red border frames from the vendor rank ups to the resident amps hidden throughout the game, as well as through completions of Heist Battlegrounds, which I have consistently received red border drops from completing. Remember, you can also get Seraph Umbral Energy from destroying the yellow balls around the game with Revision Zero. So make sure I knock those out as well when you get a chance. I will leave a link to all those locations in the description below. If you're looking for the Aikilos weapons specifically, make sure to check out my farming guide on those from earlier in the season as well. RIP to Warmind Cells, but those guns still slap. Make sure you get your red border patterns done now before the new season drops, because it's definitely looking like these will not be available again once these seasons or sunset. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to catch all of my latest Destiny 2 content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Happy hunting, Guardians.